you've spoken of the importance of education, about education being even more important, as you say, than prayer. So last November, you initiated a very important reform in Buddhist teaching, where women could aspire to the highest degree, the Geshe degree. 20 women got the Geshe degree for the first time in Buddhism in last November. How, Im how important do you think that reform is? And what kind of a struggle did you have to wage to get it through? I think first let me finish. You see, the, uh, on, the, on, the ba on the sort of basis of basic human nature, more compassionate. Modern education, I think mainly created in Europe, and particularly, I think, Great Britain. Uh, so modern education, uh, very much oriented about material value. As far as sort of inner value is concerned, we totally rely on religious faith. Uh, in ancient time, it goes well, OK. Moral ethics, uh, even the family, you see, carries some sort of prayer and some sort of reading, some sort of Bible like that. Uh, but then modern time, now today's world, out of seven billion human beings, around one billion non-believer. And then, frankly speaking, among believers, also some quite, quite strange. Uh, mischie mischievous believer also there. If people uh, sincerely follow their faith, like Islam, Christian, Buddhist, Hindus, Jews, all major tradition, all major religion teach us practice of love and practice of tolerance, practice of forgiveness. All uh, religion, major religion, major means, you see, some uh, local sort of, certain sort of prayer, worship some local deities or something, that's something different. But major world religious tradition all carry message of love. So then why people suppose follow this religion but create a lot of violence, why? We do not take seriously the real message of one's own faith. That's the problem. That also, I think, due to lack of conviction, moral principle is very important to bring inner peace and uh, happiness individual level, happiness or family level. You see, lack of conviction that. So therefore, now education should include uh, about the value of uh, the compassion, irrespective whether believer or non-believer follow this religion or that religion. Uh, so long we are human beings, so long we are social animal, we need or oh, because of the warmth of the. the because of compassion. Uh, compassion brings you inner peace, uh, mental peace. That also, you see, immense sort of, because uh, of that, because of the helpful to maintain good health. Now scientists, medical scientists, they say constant anger, constant sort of fear, and too much stress is very bad for our health. Actually, constant anger, fear, eating our immune system. That's now, the, the, the medical scientists now, they are saying that. And to some extent, I think one, uh, my own case, I can prove, maintain peace of mind, and your faith remain quite handsome. <laughs> In about three weeks' time, you make your first visit to Donald Trump's America.
Oh. Uh, do you have a special message for the American people? Because the rise of Trump, for instance, has seen also a hardening of lines between us and them. There has been a backlash against immigration. Do you have a special message for Americans in this moment? Of course, oh, I love America. <laughs> really, really. I consider America is a leading nation of free world. Then some individual American, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I think this moment, I think it's too early to say definite. So better keep quiet. <laughs> Your I think uh, the, uh, by the visit to America, uh, I think about June, yes. mainly medical sort of checkup. And then another university, I think San Diego, San Diego University, you see, they invited me. So this I feel uh, useful. So whether I visit Washington or not, I not yet finalize. So, mm, so my visit should be quiet. Go there, <laughs> medical checkup, uh, then some meeting, some students, including many Chinese students, uh, who once demonstrated against my visit.